Hi everyone, it's Rachel here from Eastern Gymnastics Club. We're going to do some simple rhythmic skills today. So lots of different handling with each of the rhythmic apparatus for you to have a go at at home. Next we have some rope skills for you to try. So any rope you have at home, it could be a plastic rope, you could have a rhythmic rope, you can use for these skills. So to start with, make sure you have the knots or if you have plastic ends curled up in your hand so the rope points out from your thumb out past your fingers. We're going to start with some rotation. So with our arm out nice and straight, our wrist is going to make a circular motion to get our rope to spin around. So keep that arm nice and straight and use your wrist to, hit, to circle the rope around. These can be done as well to the side of us. So our arm pointing out, our hand pointing towards the wall and circling our rope to the side of us. Trying to keep it as close to our body and our arm as we can. And lastly, our rotations can be done up above our head. So with a nice straight arm, using our wrist to circle that rope around. And we're trying to make our rope flat above our head not on an angle like this. So if it goes on an angle, have another go, start again, and keep that wrist moving nice and smoothly to help you keep it flat. Another skill we can do with the rope is called a figure of eight. So you can either have both ends in one hand each, or you can try this with one hand. So for our figures of eight, our rope circles on one side of our body, then the other side. So it just keeps moving around sort of like an eight shape. When we do this one, try and keep your wrists nice and close together. So make sure they're circling together, one side to the other side. Some more fun things we can do with the rope is some skipping. So make sure you've got lots and lots of space. You could go forwards or backwards you could try some cross skipping and when you skip you can either jump with your feet together or you can jump through with one foot at a time through your rope. So when you're skipping keep those arms out nice and straight. You're going to swing the rope over your head and then jump over it just before it comes to you. And again one foot or two feet together. It's the same thing for backwards. We swing it backwards and just before it comes to your legs we jump over it or we skip over it. To do your cross skipping, when the rope comes over your head, you're going to cross your arms as big as you can so that you've got a nice loop through your rope and that's where you step through and then as you swing the rope over your head, you uncross. So it's an open skip, then a cross skip and you alternate. So open, cross those arms, whoops, cross through. If you jump on your rope, that's okay you can just have another go. So open, cross the ropes and jump through. Open, cross. Lastly, one more skill you could try with the rope, as long as you've got lots of space, is to see if you could lift one end up and catch it. So make sure you have lots of room. One end goes out behind us. Make sure we've got lots of room in front of us. We're going to lift the rope up and see if we could catch the end. If it's going really far over your head, you're probably pulling too hard, and if it's not coming off the floor, then you need to pull a little bit harder. So nice and smoothly up to catch the end. Have fun trying some of these skills. The next rhythmic apparatus we're going to work with and learn some skills with is our ribbon. Lots of fun. So starting with pointing our finger down our ribbon, we're going to start off with some nice big circles. So use your arm and circle that ribbon right around in front of your body. As big circles as you can get them. Your big circles can also be done up above your head. Make sure you keep that arm moving around so that the end doesn't catch up to itself. And lastly, our circles can be done to the side of our body. So a really big circle and keep that arm moving nice and straight. 
something that you can try with your circles is to see if you could circle your ribbon backwards and catch the end. So lift it up and see if you could catch the end as it goes up to the roof. So circle it round, lift it up and catch the end. Something else you can try with your circles in front of your body is some skipping through your ribbon. So keep that ribbon circling and we're going to jump over it as it comes past us. So we circle, jump over, circle, jump over. And you can go as far around as you can with your ribbon. So circle it over, draw a line on the floor and then we jump over the top of it. Some other skills that we can do with ribbon. To start with, we can do some spirals. So point your finger down your ribbon stick, point your ribbon stick down to the floor, and we're going to circle our ribbon around in little circle motions, like you're drawing lots of little circles. And the aim is to have as many little circles in your ribbon as you can. When you have your spirals, you could try and see if you could turn around in a circle with your spirals. And you can try them in your other hand as well. Always good to swap hands and have a go in both hands. Next we have some snakes or they sometimes get called serpents. So our arms are going to start by swinging over our body and we do zigzag patterns up and down to the roof. So our hand points down and then up with our stick. So swing it across your body and then really fast up and down movements of your ribbon. Your ribbon can do your snakes pointing down to the ground. So side to side motions of your snakes to the ground as well. And lastly, a different way you can do your snakes is by circling your ribbon back behind your head and then doing your snakes over your head and down towards the ground. So behind your head and circle them over and draw, draw those snakes in a zigzag pattern down to the floor. Some nice easy ones. One that's a little bit trickier that we can try is called a flip or sometimes it gets called a toss. So we're going to circle our ribbon backwards and we're going to let it go and we're going to flick our hand as we let it go so it does a big circle in the air. you have lots of space to do all your rhythmic apparatus make sure you've got some room outside or maybe lots of space if you're going to have a go inside have lots of fun